Only three men on the onside. The offside well protected. Hit it. Hit it inland. Here's a chance. He's allowed to hit that ball. Actually, there's interference from the bowler there. That's not on. He actually can't do that. And if Inman had wanted to, he could have had a free hit at that ball. Yes, it looked as though Max just, just in his delivery stride, stride there. Ball slipping out of his hands. And he could have had a hit at that. I'm sure if Tony Gregg had been there, he would have appealed for interference because um, Max is playing around. But I remember in India that I hit one of those before and Chris Stackpole did in a, a tense situation because you can get run out of that delivery. So you might as well have a free hit if you think it's... Well, that's a short one and Lily doesn't play it very well. Hello. Giving him a little cheer and Imran giving him the big glare. So a few words and... Uh, it's all on now for young and old between these two, and I think that might be the pattern for the rest of the series. Well, he looks as if he's demonstrating, Frank. <laughs> I think he's demonstrating against the overrate. Oh, my goodness. Well, it's back to the 1970s and sit-downs, isn't it? Oh, that's a good ball, and well played by Dennis Lilly. Picked away on the leg side, down towards the deep mid wicket boundary. They'll only get two for this. Another short one and well played by Lily. He left that very well and he will continue to stir him up. That's the end of Imran's over. The score seven for one six one. It was a warm welcome that he received from the Melbourne uh, crowd. Good afternoon, Imran. Quite a sickening welcome. And Carl Rackerman always was going to get the extra bounce, a little bit of extra pace. The sun shining fairly brightly here at the MCG. We started off the day with very much cloud. faces Madassa Nazar. Imran fires, hit them. Very good fielding and not much in it. Umpire Mel Johnson was there, exactly in line with the crease. Dear John was a bit slow to go. Imran waited for the ball to come, fired it at the stumps, and far to finish. Well, I thought that was close. And I'll tell you something, I don't think anyone went up for it. 
Imran Khan was the man who threw the ball. It hits the stumps. And the bowler says absolutely nothing. Producing this inaccuracy, which is rather uncharacteristic of this very fine bowler. Oh, Whitehead goes again. The crowd roars. That was consistency. What have I got to do, says Imran. And there's a little bit of discussion going on out there. Imran was not happy with that call. He seemed to think that that ball was within the reach of the batsman. And it was just the fact that Haynes let it go that swayed the umpire into a judging it to be a wide. So there was movement there, the ball moving off the wicket. That's up in the air, he's getting under it. This could be victory, it is. Pakistan win the World Cup. A magnificent performance in front of 87,000 people. Imran Khan has led his side to victory. What a great victory. It's been a team effort. The entire squad, the physio, the doctors, they're all out on the field now. And they're loving every moment of this. Imran Khan, his fifth World Cup, his fifth attempt to win the trophy. And he's finally done it.